No matter if you're Van Hal in, Van Hal out, you have to look at the training methods or whatever. Like, seriously, how are we in a position where we've had so many fucking injuries at once? We aren't Arsenal, alright? We aren't used to having ridiculous amount of injuries, apart from last season as well when we did. But it's just... Oh, it, it's just depressing. Yeah, I, I love seeing youth academy prospects making it, but not like seven or eight in a game. Like, seriously, that was like an under-21s team playing against a Premier League club. And yeah, also another thing that Van Hal, I'm going to criticise him openly for. I don't care what money's been spent. Money isn't the issue, all right? We get charged three times as much as any other club anyway. It's quantity, all right? We've bought quality. We haven't bought quantity. We've let go so many players, and we only brought in six. I don't care if they cost however much, 100, 150, 250 million. It's the quantity of players. We don't have a recognised backup right back. Darmian is a right back. Valencia is not a right back. And these youth prospects don't count as first team. Left back, show a default right back. Blind can play there, Rojo can play there, but they're not default left backs. I said right back, didn't I? But I'm mixing it up. We don't have enough depth. We've got two strikers. He let go of Hernandez, who's got 12 in 11. Yes, Hernandez wasn't doing great. I was on his back as well. And to be honest, I, I wasn't. I, I agreed to sell him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit that. But I thought that we would buy another striker. Yeah, we got Martial. But we let Van Persie go as well, and I openly criticised that one. I said, look, it might be good if we can get another striker, but what was the point in getting rid of Van Persie or Hernandez if we weren't going to upgrade them? And then loaning out James Wilson as well, when the injuries are starting to pile up. What is wrong with the hierarchy at United, all right? Are they happy with this? There's rumours of discontent. I hope they're discontent because the fans are. We should have had six points from our last two games and we've had one. Credit to Bournemouth. Yeah, I'll get on to Bournemouth later. This will be a fucking rant, honestly. That's all this is. But I'll get on to Bournemouth later. But I'm just going to congratulate them. Eddie Hiao. He, I can't even pronounce his name. Eddie, Eddie Hiao. Is that it? Anyway... He, he's utterly incredible, all right? Masterminding wins against Chelsea and Manchester United back-to-back -back without their best striker on the pitch. Utterly tremendous, but I'll get on to them later. It, it, it's just a mess. It really is. The fact that we've had to play an, uh, uh, two debutants at fullback, two debutants at fullback, and then the two centre-backs is a midfielder, primarily, because that's what Daily Blind is, a CDM and another youth prospect. De Gea must have been looking at that defence and thinking, fuck. What the hell has happened? But yeah, Carrick and Fellaini in the midfield, all right? They, I'm not going to deny Carrick played some good football. Fellaini got a goal. At least he tried. He gets a lot of unnecessary stick as a United player. The front four played some nice stuff. Lingard, Martial, Mata and uh, Memphis. Yeah, they played some good stuff. Then Lingard gets a hit hamstring injury and he's uh, another youth academy prospect brought on in Pereira. And, uh, yeah, we, we played some good stuff going forward, but it, it's just not good enough. It shouldn't be going level toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bournemouth. We should be flattening them. I know Bournemouth have this high-intensity uh, game that they love to play for 90 minutes, and it works incredibly. But the, the stature of the teams, no matter how many injuries or whatever, you, you should be beating these teams. You have to, especially if you want to win the title. Another thing that pissed me off with Van Hal this week as well, I'm losing confidence day by day with Van Hal, and the reason for that... Why are you going in the media and saying all this shit? The um, expectations are unrealistic. Man United should get used to get being mediocre. All this shit. All right. When you took the job, you were saying in eighteen months we w we would be challenging. You said this season we would be challenging, and next season would would definitely be challenging. Maybe even for CL. We're nowhere near that. We're really nowhere near that. And that's that's because of the the amount of players we've let go compared to come in. I mean, even with 10 injuries, you shouldn't be playing as many youth prospects as we had to play, and we did. It Honestly, I'm not making much sense, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to formulate it. I, do, I don't understand, all right? And yeah, I'm criticising Van Hal a lot, and there'll be a lot of people who are like, oh, Van Hal in. To be honest, I really don't know anymore. I really don't know. I'm, I'm not backing him. I'm, I, I, I'm just lost at the minute. I really am. I know it, it isn't his fault primarily that there's so many injuries, but surely there's something wrong in the training. There's got to be, because the level of injuries and the, just the, 
the pile-up we had known at the start of the season and now all of a sudden coming into the busiest period of the year where we're probably going to get even more injuries because we haven't even played the fixtures close together yet, which is like directly on Christmas. We've already got a build-up of nine coupled with Schweinsteiger's van. <sighs> I haven't even talked about the game yet, have I? Well, anyway, Bournemouth score a corner. Stanilas, it's brilliant. There's a little bit of wind, but I, whether he meant it, whether he didn't, it was like a Thierry Henry corner in the MLS. Fantastic. Brilliant start from United again. <sighs> oh, man. It takes a goal for us to do anything, really, anyway. But whatever. We, we managed to get back in it. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a bit scrappy, but it's a long ball pointed up, and that's what we played today. We played long ball to Fellaini. Even though this one was Memphis, he managed to chest it down. He got a nice shot. Burich played, or Burich, I can't pronounce names. He was fantastic in goal. Comes out to Fellaini, and he manages to somehow scramble it in. It was a good equaliser, and then it uh, just it was end-to-end, -end, and it shouldn't be end-to-end -end against Bournemouth, regardless of injuries. But credit to them, their, their work ethic is just crazy. How can they high press for that length of time? You saw John Terry say it in the pre-match, uh, how he was so impressed against Chelsea. And until you watch it against your own team, you actually see how much they press. It, it's crazy, all right, with Bournemouth. But they, they get the lead, and to be honest, it's probably deserved. And they managed to make it 2-1. And from then on in, I just had no confidence. I didn't think we were going to score. You know, Martial doing really well, dribbling, doing all this, and then rushing the finish just because of frustration. It, it also, another thing, most of our players just seem to not be able to do what they want. They don't have the creative freedom. You look at teams like Leicester, like Watford, like Bournemouth. They're brilliant because of their fast counter-attacks and because the players are allowed to do what they want effectively. Yeah, they're in an organised unit, but they're allowed to be unleashed. They're allowed to do what they want. We're in a structured system where you have to pass or you're going to get dropped, essentially. That, that, that is what it looks like. And the reason that we're playing some of these players... Uh, like, I, look, I look at players like Ashley Young, who might not be the best. Why isn't he playing? Like... What, what has he done? He had one error against Leicester, but at least he tries. He's beat many players this season. He's been one of our best crossers, and that's Ashley Young, for fuck's sake. He's done a lot, and he isn't getting in. And why is that? Is that falling out with Van Hal? I don't understand. We subbed on Phil Jones. Well, I know McNair was woeful, but you're 2-1 down anyway in the 88th minute, and you sub on Phil Jones? No recognised striker on the bench. I could go on for ages with this rant. It's ridiculous. It's been a long time coming, but we're out the League Cup. We're out the Champions League. And now we're, we're, we're fourth. Where's the progress? Where's the pro... Oh, sorry. We got to the fourth round of the League Cup. That's progress. One round. And we also got to the group stage. Only because we, we weren't even in it last year. We weren't even in Europe. That's the only reason. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got Norwich next, and I suppose the only other positive I can see is Leicester have ridiculously hard games, and Man City play Arsenal next week, so maybe with some stroke of luck, we'll still be in, like, three points off first, which would just be a miracle. Everyone's dropping points. City almost did today, but they, they pulled it back to make it 2-1. This league... It's just ridiculous. And yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know what to think of Van Hal anymore. I really don't. But if Pep Guardiola goes to Manchester City and Carlo Angelotti goes to Bayern Munich, I don't know what the hell I'm going like, to gonna do. Because there's two top quality coach proven uh, uh, right now, not proven in the past, because Van Hal has done it in the past, but that's the key word, in the past. Pep Guardiola and Car Carlo Angelotti have done it in the the recent past, like the last five years, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm not making a lot of sense anymore, and that that's just pure frustration, honestly. It really is. But yeah, we're fourth somehow. We're in the top four, but more performances like this, and we won't even get top four, will we? And we're already in Europa League, so. <sighs> oh my God.